I call that body of water the Grand Canal. A bit of irony there. Uh, but in any case, I, I'm telling you about it and filming it right now on this kind of dreary day is because we've had enough rain that I'm going to open it. The wind may be on the microphone right now. Uh, the uh, I'm going to open a hatch right about centered where I'm looking, and then I'll come back and I'll show you. And I'm going to open another hatch right about there. Now this one, its purpose is going to be to supply power to a water wheel, an undershot water wheel that I'm going to put right there. It's time to open that. I've I've just barely been able to keep enough water in it to do any irrigating up until now, but there's a strong flow in it now. That hatch over there is just another way to let the water down uh, to to the natural drain. Down in there, there's a spring house which I'm trying to reveal, and all of these buildings here. I've spoken about them before. They're the pig cloister. Uh, so I'll I'll be uh, I'll be down in there too. In a bit, I'm going to come back here and show you what it looks like after I've done. That. The water's pretty muddy because I was just hoeing in it, but now the water you can see it's running down past that spool, uh, which is where I'll which is what I'm going to build into a water wheel of some kind, and running on out. Uh, it's coming from the left. That would be the east and it's also coming from the west, from the right, and I can have a, a lot more of it coming from the right. But that's enough that I can kind of start start to play with it. I've got to dig that spool out of the mud, level up uh, the, uh, what do they call it, the head race. I got stuff to play with there. This one I didn't open up because it's just wet enough down there still but I'm not ready to open that just yet. 